tonight means so much because of all that has come before. Almost 10 years of dedication and sacrifice for the ultimate prize, the Sasha Heavyweight Championship. Tonight begins a historic run that will come to an epic conclusion in June for the 10th Sasha Heavyweight Championship. After an exciting press conference to announce all of the great off-season events and all of the plans for Season 10, the time has come to kick off the final season of the National Heavy Boxing League. While it may be sad to see the league go eventually, we try to celebrate the epicness of the NHBL, everything that has occurred in the past 10 seasons, previous nine seasons, as we look forward to the 10th and who is going to mark their legacy. We begin tonight with a series of events titled Clayface's Biggest Rivalries, handpicked by one of the best fight promoters to ever exist in the landscape of Team Fortress 2 heavy boxing. Clayface has picked matches that have been impactful on the National League Boxing League's history, while at the same time doing it for the fans, by the fans, and with the fans. We start out with a flashback to July of 2017, where the NHBL had its first matchups in Europe, titled the NHBL International Series, that was hosted in London. One match... 6 out of 11 to kick off the 10th and final season of the National Heavy Boxing League. It's Clayface's biggest rivalries. Metro, El Comandante is next. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of various ages, welcome to a very special event here in NHBO Twitch. My name is Sins alongside Pepsi Apocalypse, and today we're going to be seeing a whole lot of boxing between two of some of the veteran boxers in NHBO history. Metro against El Comandante. Now, Pepsi Apocalypse, these two have fought each other a couple times in the past. Probably, possibly one of the uh, better uh, European boxers that have ever come out of NHBL. And they'll be going up against each other one more time, and maybe even possibly for the last time, you know, give or take what the season uh, holds when season 10 starts. But uh, Pepsi Apocalypse, uh, tell us a little bit about the history between these two uh, shaping up to be for tonight. Yeah, obviously. Um, so um, yeah. Beginning, obviously, this um rivalry began in uh 20, 2017, Um, during uh, the season six uh f divisionals of the NHBL finals. Um, where um El Comandante uh, swept Metro free to nothing, and then, of course um they uh, met again um um during uh the the cut day sorry yeah the first event on the um EU server. Um, at the International Series London an event where um, El Comandante once again beat Metro 5 to 4. And then, um, third meeting, um, okay, but obviously, yeah, and then they meet, uh, meet met, up again, oh God, saying, met up again at the NHBL EU, EU finals, um, again, um, where Metro actually beat them. Um, so yeah, currently, um, as of right now, um, El Comandante is, um, two. It's two, and uh, let's just say um, Metro is not in the lead. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, you have to think that if Metro gets the win here tonight, I mean, it does bring their, like, kind of kind of uh, record to 2-2 two to two, and maybe yeah, even a tiebreaker in, the, in in Season 10 if that happens. But, um, you know, we, we've we seen, uh, let, like, let's take it back from last night at NHBL Fight Night. It was a really fun uh, mm -hmm. fun event last night. We saw both, uh, we saw El Comandante. Um, we saw El Comandante uh, fight last night. And uh, he did pretty well for not boxing for uh, a whole lot of time. Metro, who's been coming to almost every other fight night, he's been boxing, he's been doing very well and practicing. So El Comandante had some practice last night. Metro hasn't fought in fight night in for a couple of weeks now, but I know he's been sparring on his own time, though. So yes. I don't know if you want to qualify ring, ring rust to any of these boxers, but you got to think that Metro's got to have a little bit of the advantage just because he's, He's been actively boxing within Fight Night. Yeah, obviously at that aforementioned Fight Night last night, um, obviously we saw um, El Comandante lose, I believe, a two to one to um, a newer boxer, um, Lou Axian. So yes, obviously, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, Metro. Um, yeah, things Metro also has a bit of it. now. See, he's had a bit of um, hardships too. Um, in the HBO, obviously, he. Um, was be in the first round of uh, the NHBL uh, playoffs. So yeah, both of these guys have, um, you know, kind of had some wins and losses, but still. 
We're going to get ready for Metro and L, Dante. And these two have been, you know, like uh, like you guys, like you said, they're Pepsi Apocalypse. They've met three times before. Okama Dante is winning, is up two to one. And, um, um, <laughs> uh, Pepsi Apocalypse, uh, do some color commentary. What are we seeing here in the ring? <laughs> All right, so uh, as you can see here, we got uh, Metro. He's uh, kind of vibing right now. He's got an uh, upside down um, bumper car and um, wearing that as um, some type of jock strap, I believe. Um, I, and I, then I, um, El Comdate uh, is, um, is T posing. Uh, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How are they going to fight? Oh, there they go. Oh, there there go. they go. There they go. All right. Well, now they're going to start the warm ups. And, uh, you know, these are going to be the first time that we're going to be seeing you guys uh, fight uh, fight in a uh, sanctioned match here in HBL, all the way back from uh, the uh, second HBL EU finals, which was last year. So back in season nine was the last time that these guys fought against each other. So uh, it's been a little while, so maybe, uh, or season eight, sorry. Uh, well, I guess it would make sense. Anyways, it don't matter. I can't count anyways. Um, so yeah, it's been a while since these guys fought each other in a sanctioned match. I don't know if they might have practiced or anything like that, but Pepsi Apocalypse, there ain't no similarities. There ain't no, you know, remembering each any of each other's tactics. It's been such a long time. I doubt these guys would remember how these guys fought, you think? Yeah, I do agree, because obviously, um... Jeez, I'm uh, okay. Because so obviously, yeah, last time they met officially was on the second um, NHL EU finals during the wild card. They, I don't remember what year that was. I wasn't at the NHBL at the time. So do you know what? Uh, uh, yeah, I you know what? I think that was. I think that was before my time, I believe too. So yeah. But that just shows you how far back this history or history goes. I mean, back from season six was their first encounter. Uh, Metro's been here from season the tail end of season one into season two. Uh, mm -hmm. So as well, and Pepsi Apocalypse, you were a boxer a couple months ago with the fight night scene. You've been in the ring with Metro a couple times. Tell me your experience with being in the ring with Metro. Oh man, yeah, Metro, you know, you know he's a lot better of a boxer than me, but obviously, yeah. So, you know, he does kind of he's a bit more conservative in my opinion than a lot of ever boxers. But like obviously, on um, my final, uh, obviously I won my final matches in the HBL earlier this year at Boxing Mania, um, um, night one of Boxing Mania. Um, obviously, uh, he beat me. Um, yeah, um, three to two. Yeah, that's true. So. so yeah. But yeah, so yeah, it's Metro gonna be. Young. Yeah, yeah, Met, like you said, Pepsi Metro was a very laid back boxer, and he gets the job done. Yeah, ob now, um, obviously, Metro, as I said, has had some uh, trouble, obviously, losing the first round to, uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. But, but, yeah, and also, I'm uh, at, um, at Heavy Havoc this earlier this year, not too long ago, actually, um, he um, lost his um, match for the Ironclad Championship belt uh, against Jordo. Mm -hmm. That time, was a really uh, hard. Yeah, that, yeah. Was a really hard that was a really good match, too. Yeah. Um, <laughs> really obviously, good match. Jordo. Yeah, speaking of um, young boxers, obviously Jordo is a lot newer, and yet he is already probably one of the best we have to offer. So far, I mean, hey, you know, Metro, you can't get away. You can't. You have to think this, too. Metro is one of those boxers that if you have a question, if you have something to question about boxing, how can I do this correctly? How can I fix this? You go to Metro, and and he will tell you. He is such a good um, ambassador to NHBL. Yeah. Um, I think I can say that for all the staff, all the uh, admin staff as well, for Fedora and, and all and Clayface and all them, that, that Metro is one of the, one of the more down-to-earth ambassadors for NHBL to represent NHBL in all its glory. Um, yeah. Yeah, and, and like Clayface is saying, both men are being inducted into the Hall of Fame as well. But, I mean, everyone's being inducted to the Hall of Fame. But I digress. Uh, both boxes definitely are more deserving uh, uh, contenders for the Hall of Fame. Uh, definitely first battle Hall of Famers if that was an option. All right. So shout out to Spogo's new mic, by the way. Sounds terrific. Cool. Ri giving Ridge a run for his money. All right. So both boxes going up. And both boxes actually missed their first punch. You know, we're on the London server, so there ain't no ping issues. I don't want to hear that dispute going on tonight because it's a London server. These guys have awesome ping. All right. Both connecting on their first shots there. 
They're both down one punch, both even fights there, both not being too aggressive there. Metro kind of staying towards his corner there while Covenante is kind of pushing a little forward there. And now Covenante gets trying to get a punch there, but Metro retaliates, and Metro kind of missed a punch there. Ooh. And that's going to be the downfall of Metro, as El Covenante, I think it was actually more of a dodge more than a miss, but he was able to get a win over Metro. It's one nothing for LK. Now, obviously, yeah. That was a bit of a slower match, obviously. They were kind of dancing around the ring over there, kind of kind of waiting to make a move, obviously. So, yeah, kind of started all a bit even, but once again, Metro um, missed a punch, and that kind of sealed his fate. Ah, uh, how can I feel? All right. There they go. There they go. Yeah, the only person from French is, is uh, um, is a Bacqua, so. Oh, yes. Yes. Where is he? Where is Bacqua? Anyways, it doesn't matter. Anyways. It's kind of disappeared. Metro. Metro is in the center of the ring there. Now they're both going to come up, and now they're going to go aggressive. And then they back up a little bit there between these two, still kind of being in their respective sides. Metro pushes up, and it looks like he's going to get connected there. And El Comandante oh. pushes him, and it don't matter. Metro showing a little bit more aggressive, kind of a little bit more, I think, of a surprise approach to El Cal. I don't think he was expecting that. Yeah, I don't think so. Obviously, once again, it was a little bit more even, but... I might have seen an El Comandante miss for a bit there, but still, yeah. Honestly, a funny thing to know, and I find this kind of interesting, is that what's kind of funny is that so um originally uh, Metro was going to be on Team EU for a uh, upcoming next week's uh, Collision That's of right. Continents. That's right. However, um for whatever reason, which I have not been specified why, um Metro could not compete, which means that El Comandante is filling in as it was announced last night, fight night. Okay, so it is tied up one to one. You're expecting a clean sweep. You ain't going to get it in this match, and I don't know why you would expect that. These two definitely know how to bring it in the ring when time comes. And both of them, Metro going a little bit more aggressive than what we usually see. El Comandante misses. Oh. He misses again. He misses three times. Metro coming in and taking the lead. I do not know what happened there. For whatever, seriously, like, what the heck happened to um, El Comandante? He just didn't punch. It says if he was like maybe just kind of caught off guard by a uh, Metro. All right, we're up two to one. Of course, this is the start of our off-season events here in NHBO. We have a lot of stuff coming up, including next week Collision of Continents, two-day series, Team North America, oh. Team EU. Well, it'll be next week live on HBO Twitch as Ooh. Metro goes in for the hit. Come on, they can't get a couple hits oh, in. Oh, and oh, oh, my Metro, he could go full. Oh, oh. But he is going to pick up the victory. Close to being a flawless victory there. But Metro, oh, no. that, like, like you no. said, Pepsi, that footwork has been key in this match. You didn't see for the younger boxers who are watching this. Take a, You have to get a keep a close eye on Metro. That is great dodging by Metro. He's up three to one. Now, obviously, once again, you know, obviously, as you can see there, obviously, um, El Comandante was only able to land two hits, leaving um, the final health for Metro at 170%, which is not the best, okay? You really only sunk, like, what, half of your punches? But, yeah, it's, once again, you know, great dodging by Metro. All right. Three to one for Metro. And uh, you also have to say, too, that you know, these guys are good friends. Um, these guys, uh, you know, obviously being from the same area, uh, they do yeah, no have a nice competitive rivalry there. Now, Comandante is not getting a couple oh. hits in. And Metro, oh, Metro's oh. trying to go oh. around him. Oh. Metro almost got a comeback there, but trying to do a data rule tactic. But El Comandante makes it three to two, and things got a little bit more interesting in this matchup. Yeah, I was kind of a weird one. So I kind of did have a weird feeling that maybe El Comandante would miss some of the punches, but no. Nah. Exactly. That's kind of basically, so yeah, El Comandante kind of gave a Metro a taste of his own mess, to say, I guess. All right, so El Comandante is coming back into this match at the last win, making it 3-2. to two. Metro is still in the lead here. Okay, both boxes getting a hit off. So now they're, oh, Metro coming in with oh, a surprise oh, there. El oh, Comandante can't come oh, back. No. Holy moly. Look at that. Metro, oh, wow, amazing dodge. When you get into a rhythm like that, it's hard to come back. Yeah, like, whoa, that's, yeah, as you can see there, El Comandante, he was only able to land one single punch. 
So yeah, as of right now, Metro, yeah, I've got that health at 235%, which is amazing. That's nearly flawless, but yeah. It seems like all Cavadante's ring rust is beginning to show a bit more. As I did mention, he did um, um, lose to a newer uh, boxer in the first round uh, last night. All right. That's 4-2 to two Metro. And Metro's looking really good in this matchup as he's up in this one by two. He only needs two more wins to win this whole thing and get two, three keys in his inventory. So yeah, I believe that's about... Um... Leave a free keys. That's oh yeah. Oh, about like about seven bucks there, and add seven bucks makes a makes a big difference. And Metro oh. going aggressive, kind of cornering Gil Camadante, ladies and gentlemen. It's now match point. It's five to huh. two for Metro. Uh oh, it looks like El Camadante is in a bit of a pickle. Obviously, I would say. Um, anywho, but yeah, obviously, yeah, as you've said, there's scars once again. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah. The thing is, El Camadante, he's a, not boxed in a while, and obviously, yeah. So obviously, like I said, he was. Obviously able to sink in a lot more punches. However, um, yeah, he missed. Appears to have missed one. So yeah. All right, these guys are having fun, and that's what's all right, talking yeah. all about here. And yep. uh, oh, Metro go with the spin on oh, Kill Cody. They're both spinning. Fire. They must watch. They those guys watch Fight Night. All right, Metro spinning around. Oh, look at that! He's actually getting the heights off as he's spinning. Now, now it's he's <laughs> so spinning. But is he gonna do it? Oh, no, is he gonna do out. it? No, I'll come to the oh, no, Metro no, 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 gets no, no, no. this <laughs> with the spin. <laughs> Metro does it. Metro wins six to two. Pepsi Apocalypse. Oh, that was a good matchup between these two. I agree. Yeah, that was an amazing matchup, honestly. Yeah, it's insane though. Just they were spinning. They were spinning as if they were the Beyblades. Just, oh my god, <laughs> the Beyblade tactic. <laughs> yes, well, yeah, they were trying to catch Dubber off guard, it seems like. I am down here with the winner of tonight's match, a 6-2 victory, starting the brilliant, fantastic run of off-season events of Metro. Well done. Thoughts on your match t -t -t tonight, Metro? Firstly, I have Nothing else to say that I am just glad that I got to punch against uh, one of my uh, dearest friends and uh, all the sports in the in the league. Well, well yep. Well, <laughs> well, it was a fantastic match tonight. And how how did you feel about beating uh, him six to two and tying it up two to two in the? total matches and he's gone huh. you know what i'm gonna go to el camarante el camarante it was a tough hard fought lo loss how do you feel about replacing Me metro for the collision of continents next week well the first thing i'm going to ask is does this work yeah yes it does perfect okay um, excitably I mean, it came out of nowhere. I wasn't expecting to fill in. I'm, I'm yeah. very, very much looking forward to it because they're frantic, fun matches, and you know, the more the better when it comes to commitments, really. Now you are, you are signed up to the fourth NHBL EU finals. Can you consider this a, a bit of a bit of a warm up? Go going into that, although it didn't last as long as you hoped it would. Is this a way to kind of, kind of practice and get ready for that in the coming months? That's a good question, but I think it's a bit unfair because I look forward to fighting Metro the most. This is <laughs> this is the event for me. So I mean, yes, it is a warm up in the sense that my skills might be a bit less, a bit less rusty by that point. But no, I, I look forward to to the Comma v Metro matches. They were they make this. It's, it's just fun. It's just this camaraderie. When I look at him, when, when he smashes me in the face brutally and leaves my body sprawled <laughs> across the match, there's, there's still good vibes. It's one of the few places you can have that combination.